All right, everyone, I just wanted to kind of do a quick little walkthrough here of what we're doing, and I'm having some major trouble, so hopefully somebody can help me out here. So this is what we got so far. Um, that is the motherboard. That's a Z77X UP5TH. Um, as you can see there, um, uh, right now it's in BIOS mode, but it usually boots up and it says AO, which is what it's supposed to. Um, I don't know if anything looks out of the ordinary here. This is my first time building one, so um, if anybody notices anything weird or odd, please let me know. Um, I have the graphics card taken out right now, the GTX 670, because that was a recommendation by several people. Um, and so forth, so that's that there. I'm not sure if anything needs to be plugged in a specific order or what. Um, totally lost at this. So I'm not sure if it's a hardware problem that I'm having, or a software problem, or what. There's a card. So, let me show you what we got here. So right now I am in BIOS mode, but uh, let me go ahead and restart. And I'm going to go ahead and try doing this all the way from the beginning. So I'm going to choose my USB drive with uh, OS X on it. That is the hard drive. I've already tried it before, but if I do that one, it won't work. So let's go from the USB. Yeah, it seems like what happens is right after I install MultiBeast and install some of the recommended settings for this setup, um, every time when I go to reboot and boot from the hard drive, it uh, just locks up at the uh, loading screen. So I'm really not sure what the problem is. And I've tried several different settings from several different people. Let's go clear out that hard drive SSD Make sure that's right okay so continue, agree, SSD, install. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead here because of course this is going to take some time and I'll be back. Alright guys, we are back. It finished installing and um, rebooted. So it comes back up. Now we choose the SSD of course. And of course wait for the Apple logo and um, just wanted to show this real quick, but basically I'm sure you guys know that you could just go through the basic setup. Alright guys, so we're back here and uh, finally finished the quick little setup for OS X, just like normal. And um, let's go ahead and let's do some of the multi-beast here real quick. Um, and go based on the settings that I have read multiple times online. Um, they kind of vary a little bit, but uh, not by much. Hold on, let me go ahead and enable this. Okay, so everybody checks that. The user DSDT, um, drivers for this particular one, audio without, 898. Um, there is a SATA uh, or a third party SATA drive in there so I believe that needs to be done everybody says the trim um, miscellaneous um, everybody recommends clicking the fake SMC's um, and they also select the Intel from the network. 
Um, and the last thing I've been told was um, some people select the graphics and label no, but I'm not going to do that this time. Oops. Um, and I'm not even going to choose system definitions. Um, so basically, you're seeing what I've been told for most people to set up as. And I'm going to press continue and install. Best settings, but uh, I believe those should already be set because I didn't reset it. So, so close that and let's uh, restart. Let's see what happens here. And it may tell me to select a drive. Nope. So it loads, gets to the Apple screen. A couple times I've actually had the loading wheels show up, but majority of time, nothing. So as you can see, this is pretty much what it goes to every single time I do this. And the only way to get back out of it is to completely reinstall everything all over again. And it takes a whole lot of time. Uh, let me reset it real quick. Let's go into the BIOS so I can show you guys what I got going here. Oops. So under BIOS, um, this is what we have. Um, it's also at the latest version, which I've been told, F12E, which is actually a beta version, but uh, several people said that that's where it needs to be. So, um, under system, there's the model and everything, BIOS, BIOS version, and under features, so we're selecting the correct hard drive to boot first. Um, I'm not sure those other things even make a difference. Um, uh, basically that's it under that that I've been told or I've read I'll kind of flip through them see if there's anything abnormal anybody notices under peripherals um, HCI of course and I've been told that this needs to be auto not smart auto um, um, and of course, right now we're just trying to get off of the uh, internal graphics card, not the 670, because uh, um, I don't think that'll work yet, from what I've been told. And also, uh, it only has DVI and HDMI ports, and this silly monitor only has HDMI, but I've heard that HDMI doesn't work through Mac yet, so I'm not too sure. Um, internal graphics is set to auto. Um, maybe that needs to be enabled, I'm not sure. Um, graphics memory 64. Some people say it needs to be 32 or 64. I've tried both. Neither one works. Um, and that's everything else there that you see. Power management. I got that wake on LAN is turned off. Everybody recommends that one. Um, AC back. Not sure what that is. Um, and so forth. So that's exactly what you see. Save and exit. Yes, we'll try it again. Just to show you guys that it still doesn't work. And here you go, just back to the Apple logo again. Um, no loading wheel, no nothing. And it'll sit like this. I've tried sitting for up to 30 minutes and it never does boot or come on. Let me restart here real quick. I'll show you one more thing. There's a few uh, uh, codes that have been recommended for booting up. So I will try um, minus V 
that's one that has been recommended so and it will go through a huge long list of junk and um, usually it'll just uh, lock up partial way and it doesn't doesn't do anything So, looks like it's already actually stopped. Usually it goes farther than this. It shows a lot more stuff. Um, but there is a ATHR Unknown Locale 21, which I believe has something to do with the Wi-Fi card. But uh, I was told that that shouldn't stop it from booting up. Um, I, could, I could remove it if, if that's an idea or... If anybody thinks that that might be the problem, but other than that, um, the only other weird thing I see on there it says um, the I/O USB family did not receive enough extra current for the super speed device four port USB 3.0 hub. I'm not even sure what that means. Uh, everything is plugged in correctly, which is minus X. Try that one out, and this one. Typically, it gives this progress bar at the bottom, yep, which is started, and you'll actually get the loading wheel. And it'll start, and it will we'll stop. The progress bar won't go any farther than it is now, and it'll freeze again. And you can actually hear, it sounds like the hard drive or something makes a noise, and then it just stops. So... I'm going to let this go live so you can see how long it loads for for stopping. So the progress bar goes away. And right there the I made kind of a an interesting noise, a high pitch, not really high pitch, but you can't even probably won't even hear it on the, on this, but you can hear something going on and then it stops so that's it um, please if anybody has any ideas I need some help here I am totally lost I've followed several different people and nothing seems to work so um, please if you have any ideas or um, anything let me know I will be glad to try it because I'm tired of reinstalling this thing for at least 20 plus times already so thanks